So mini sessions are all the rage. You see them for absolutely every holiday, occasion, you name it, there is a mini session for it. But how do you choose one for your photography business that you know will sell? That's what I'll be going over in this video. And by the way, if you have no idea what I'm even talking about, like what even is a mini session when it comes to photography, I have a whole video on that. I will link it below. If we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Kayla Brent. I'm a photographer, studio owner, and I teach photographers how to start and grow their business the right way. And one way to do that, doesn't matter if you're starting or if you're scaling, mini sessions can be a huge game changer and injection of income into your photography business if you do them right. But first, we have to do one that sells and sells really well. So how do we do that? Before I get into that, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment any questions that you might have about mini sessions below. You can take notes. I love you if you take notes. You're just like me. You're Hermione. I get it. But I have a free guide for you that summarizes this video. It'll be in the description. So yes, you can take notes if you want to. But just know I have a PDF. It's absolutely free. It's down below for you. First thing that you need to know when choosing a mini session is you need to completely and totally understand your audience and their schedules. This is a game changer. If you offer the absolute best mini session, it's what everybody's been wanting, but they're not available, then it's going to flop. It's not going to be because of you. It's not because of your work. It's not going to be because of anything else but their schedule. So we need to know our client's schedule forwards and backwards. A mistake I've made with this in the past is one time I set a date, I chose a date on my calendar for a mini session and I put it out there and nobody was purchasing. Thankfully, somebody contacted me and was like, Kayla, I so want to do these pictures, but it's on the day of the Nutcracker. And in my town, the Nutcracker is a big, huge production. And all of my client's children were in the Nutcracker. So yeah, that one totally flopped. I ended up moving the date and it was a success. But you can avoid this by asking your clients. One thing that you can do if you have a VIP Facebook group or if you have an email list is to poll them. Say, hey, I'm offering this mini session. It's either going to be this weekend or this weekend. Which one works best for your schedule? But better yet is just knowing your clients so well that you know when they are busy and when they are not. Now I get the symphony schedule so I know when the Nutcracker is happening, so I never book those dates. This is also good for if you serve children to know when the spring breaks are happening, any major holidays, because a lot of people travel at that time. So knowing your audience really well that you serve and knowing when they are available and unavailable. Next up in how to choose a mini session that will sell is uniqueness. Listen, y'all. When it comes to a mini session, it is all about client experience. This is where someone will purchase your session over somebody else's session. Client experience. How are you unique? How are you making this even that much more enjoyable for them? That is your big ticket. Really sitting down and thinking about these things. It can be way simpler then you may think, for instance, the first year that I did Santa session, I just did Santa session. It was great. It sold out. It was wonderful and it was magical. But I sat down and I thought, how can I make this an even better experience for my clients? Listen, my Santa sessions, they are only eight minutes long. That's it. And they sell out a whole day of Santa. But I charge really, really well for these sessions. So I want to make sure I'm delivering the best experience possible. So what I did is I happen to have horses. And so Santa Claus brought reindeer food from the North Pole. So all the good boys and girls after their session got to feed my horses Dot and Oakley reindeer food. And y'all, it made for the best experience for 
my clients. And you may be thinking, Kayla, I don't have a horse outside. I totally get that. Well, the first time I did have a horse outside and I didn't even think about it. So really think about the resources that you have. Collaborate with other businesses if you can. Make the experience the absolute best you can so that your clients want to come back year after year after year. And the last tip that I want to give you on how to choose a mini session that will sell, it really just has to do with the selling portion. It doesn't matter how good or bad your mini session is, if people don't know about it, they're not going to buy it. So make sure you are making a lot of noise when it comes to your mini session. Post about it everywhere that your client may be, wherever they hang out. If they are parents, where are their children? Send flyers to all of the day schools in your town or all the schools in your town. How can you meet your clients where they are at? And once you do that, do it multiple times. You cannot show up on social media too much. Show up on social media, make some noise, remind them, remind them, remind them, and have a really good marketing plan for this. You need to have a strategy. And if you need help with this, I have a program called Mini Session Blueprint. I will link it down below in the description, but I go over my whole process that's helped me get over $7,000 for one mini session in a small town. And I really credit this to my marketing strategy for this. I have a pre-launch and a launch plan and also a plan to get clients back year after year after year. So go check that out down below. Use these three tips to create a mini session that will sell. And don't forget, I have a PDF guide down below. All the notes on this plus more is in that PDF of some ideas of different types of mini sessions that you can offer. So it's in the description, yours for free, and I will see you in the next video.